Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 4, Analyzing Graphs. Water usage during a typical day at school. Okay, so here's an example. Water consumption in a typical school day. So here's a graph. There's a title. There's a unit of measurement across or across the horizontal axes, and there's a unit of measurement along the vertical axis, but they did not tell us what those are. This here looks like time, 657, 809, 11, 1257, 1409. This is military time, so this would be 321. This is 209, 433, 545 p.m. Okay, so exercise one and two, it says one. The bulk of water usage is due to the flushing of toilets. Each flush uses 2.5 gallons of water. Samson estimates that 2% of the school population uses the bathroom between 10 a.m. and 10.01 a.m., right before homeroom. Okay, so 10 a.m., so he's talking about this spike right here. So they have a homeroom or something advisory in between periods. So they start the school day, they have class from 8 until 10 or whatever, and then they have a homeroom at 10. <clears throat> what is a good estimate of the population of the school? Well, what do we need to know to determine that? We're told that each flush is 2.5 gallons of water. And we know that 2% of the school population uses the bathroom between 10 and 10.01 a.m., which is right here, and that is 80. Well, with this being 2.5 gallons of water, I would assume that this is gallons of water. They didn't label it, but that's what I would assume. So 80 gallons of water gets used between 10 and 10.01 a.m. So the first thing I want to do is see how many flushes that is, and then we can determine how many people that is, assuming each person only flushes once. So if we take that 80 and divide it by 2.5, then we get 2, 3, I did this the long way, 2.580, 3 times 2.5, move this over, move this over, 3 times 25 is 75, and when I subtract that I get 50, no, yes, 50, and so that's 2, so 32. So 80 divided by 2.5 is 32. So that means 32 flushes. In other words, 32 people. Now it says Samson estimates 2% of the population uses the bathroom. So I'm going to go back to math 7, I believe, or maybe even 6. And when we're talking percent, that means out of 100. So 2% is 2 one hundredths equals 32 over some value. So I set up a proportion and I solve. So what do I have to do to 2 to get 32? Well, I have to multiply it by 16. So if I do the same down here, then x equals 100 times 16. So x equals 1,600 students. So there's our estimate with the given information. Number two says, Samson then wonders this. If everyone at the school flushed a toilet at the same time, how much water would go down the drain? <clears throat> well, for starters, if that were to happen, we would need 1,600 toilets, and I've never seen a school with that many. If the water pressure system allowed and there were that many toilets, it should say, are we able to find an answer for Samson? And the answer should be yes, because we have 1,600 students 
flushing the toilet at the same time using 2.5 gallons every time. So that'd be 2.5 times 1600. Zero, zero, six times five is 30. Six times two is 12 plus three is 15. Okay, bring down a zero. One times five is five. Two times one is two. Zero, 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 four. <clears throat> and there is one decimal place, so I move this over one. 4,000 gallons. That's a lot of water. So 1,600 people times 2.5 gallons per flush would yield 4,000 gallons of used water. Okay, exercise three is an estimation, estimation exercise. Make a guess as to how many toilets are at the school. So your school would obviously be different than any other school. Um, they don't, they are not all identical. If I think about the school I was just recently working at, one bathroom may have had five toilets in it and there was one boy's room and one girl's bathroom on the floor. So that'd be 10 toilets per floor and we had a three-story building. So that'd be 30. I'm going to use 30. B says make a guess as to how many students are in the school and what percentage of students might be using the bathroom at a break time between classes? Well, the last school I was at, class sizes were usually on average 15 per class. And I think there was about, oh, I don't know, 80 in a class. And I mean in a grade. And it was a middle school of three. So it was 6th, 7th, 8th grade. And so 80 times 3 is 240. I'm going to say 250 just to make it a round number. Um, so I made a guess as how many students are in my school. I'm going to say 250. Your number would probably be different. Um, and, and make a guess as how many students are in the school and what percentage of students might be using the bathroom at break times between classes. Well, if there are 15 students in a class, I would say that Oh, I don't know. Maybe six would use the bathroom between periods. And that'd be two uh, fifths. That'd be 40%. I'd say 40%. But does, do people use the bathroom between each period? Probably not. Maybe every other period. So I'm going to cut that in half. See, I'm just making this up. I'm thinking it through. And I'm going to say 20% use the bathroom between classes. Are there enough toilets for the count of students wishing to use them? Okay, so 20% of 250, 20%, 250 is my total, so I'd go on the bottom. Okay, so in order to, I can reduce here, 2 tenths. to get this to 25. So 2.5, 10 times 2.5 is 25. So 2 times 2.5 is 5. Okay, so that would mean 5 students. Is that right? 20% of 100 equals x over 250. 20% of 250 would be 50. Okay, so if we have 50 people <clears throat> flushing the toilet at the same time, and there are only 30 toilets, then no. 30 is less than 50, so there are not enough toilets to accommodate at the same time. C says, using the previous two conditions, considerations, estimate the number of students using the bathroom during a peak minute of each break. Okay, so usually breaks, the break, the school I was in, there was five minutes between periods, so one minute is 20% or one 
20th, let's see, one fifth or 20% of the break. So one minute is one fifth of the break since it's a five minute break. And if it says, estimate the number of students using the bathroom during a peak minute, one minute. So if 50 are using the bathroom, then that would be 10 students per minute. D says, assuming each flush uses two and a half gallons of water, estimate the amount of water being used during the peak minute of each break. Well, if there were 10 people using the bathroom per minute in 2.5 gallons, that would seem to be 2.5 gallons times 10 people, which equals 25 gallons. E says, what time of day do these breaks occur? If the school schedule varies, consider today's schedule. Okay, so answers will vary here. You All you'd have to do here is list the times of your breaks. So at 9.25 and at 10.15 till 10.20 or 11.45 to 11.50. I'm not going to do that. It's not relevant. But F says to draw a graph that could represent the water consumption in a typical school day of your school. Okay. Okay, so here would be an example of what a graph would look like. So in this school setting, there's a, the bell rings at 8 o'clock. So just before 8 o'clock, there's a spike. Then they're in class until 8.45, and then there's a spike. And then they're in class from 8.50 until 9.25, and so on. Okay, and then these are after school activities. 545 there's some smaller spikes so something's going on at the school at quarter to six so maybe a basketball game or something okay so anyhow this would be an example of a graph for water consumption during any particular school day so make sure you have a title list what the vertical axis means what unit of measurement are you using 50 100 150 200 250 what this says gallons per minute. Down across the bottom, that would just be time during the day. They didn't list it, but that's what it is, 7.45 a.m. until 5.45 p.m. So you need to have a title and need to label your axis and then graph the information. Okay, that is the end of lesson four. Go do your problem set.